Let's learn what a JavaScript event handler is. In HTML, you can have HTML tags, and then on those HTML tags, you can specify some type of event and the event handler. In other words, these tags can have responses. The browser can uh, work with the tag, or the user can work with the tag, and then we can specify what happens if some type of event occurs. Those events might be things like pressing a key, closing a window, opening an HTML page, clicking on a button, moving the mouse. There's a bunch of different events that can occur. And this is all handled through the DOM. So let's learn how to work with this. Let's create a brand new file and we'll call it new file and let's save it as We'll just call it myevents.html and then we'll go ahead and put the basics of HTML in that folder. We'll have a head and we will go ahead and create a body and then in this body let's go ahead and add a button but we're going to do it through the input. We'll say input type equals button and the text that will display on that button will be click me and we will say that if anybody ever clicks on that button will do something. Now look what happens when I type the word on. When I type the word on Visual Studio Code brings up a list of all the events that could occur. For instance, you can click on this button, you can double click on that button. The button can gain focus, meaning when you press the tab key and that button is now highlighted, that's called focus. A key down, key press, key up. When the button is first loaded on the web page, we could do something. We move uh, the mouse down. Oh, sorry, let me back up. We move the mouse down or we move the mouse uh, over, we just move it, we move the mouse over this button. We have the mouse wheel that you can work with, resize, scrolling. There's a bunch of different events that you can control based upon these HTML tags that you're going to work with. However, for the most part, we'll probably use the on click event for a button. So we'll just type on, click, and then it displays double quotes. This is now looking for the name of a JavaScript function to execute. So that if you ever click on this button with the text click me, make sure you have an equal there, then you're going to go execute whatever function you write here. So let's go ahead and um, give it a name. And so if we ever click on this button, we want to go ahead and execute a function called play. In fact, let's make it play game. So play game, princey, princey. But make sure you notice that you specify that function name inside the double quotes. So let's come up here to the head section, and we could do it in the body section if we wanted to. And let's create a script tag. And in that script tag, we want to write a function. And we want that function to match the name that we have here. So that will be play game parenthesis parenthesis. And now we can start writing our code for that function. So in this function, if they ever click on the button with the words click me, we'll go to play game and we could do something like hello, you clicked my button. So let's go ahead and save that and run it. And let's see what happens if we click on click me. We display you click my button. Because what happens is when I click on that button, the HTML tag says, hey, you clicked on me. So go do that. In fact, I didn't close off my HTML. I should. Let's try something else. What if I said on mouse over? Let's call another function. Let's just say display message. And we'll come up here and write another function. Display message. 
and let's do the same thing alert I am over the button and we'll save that and let's go ahead and run this so now we've written two event handlers for this button one that says play game the other says display message if I click on the button we'll go to play game if I move my mouse over the button we'll do display message let's see what happens so here I am I'm getting ready to put my mouse over the button I am over the button take it off so notice once it goes over the button it says it displays it if I click on it you clicked me so using these event handlers we can write different actions we want to happen based upon our input or interaction with those tags so what does this mean we can do well if you over if you go over to um, your browser and I typed in, in fact let me just show you what I typed in here I typed in JavaScript event handlers and then I went to the first link W3 schools and then I scrolled down they give you some samples but right here it says the DOM events these are all the events that the DOM handles I'll just do a quick quick scroll look at all these things those are all different actions that can occur within the DOM and you can go and trap them with an event handler so really you have complete control over what is happening in a browser window so what does that mean also well let's come back here to the body we saw that we could write a button right look what else we can do in the body tag on and once again we have a whole bunch of different events that the body tag could respond to one of them is called on load that says when you're loading up this body tag in memory go do something so let's go ahead and write a function and we'll just say body is loading well actually we need a function name we'll call it body load parenthesis parenthesis come back up here write another function and we'll say body load and remember in those these functions we can do anything we want In fact we could even pass a parameter to this if we wanted to and um, single quote because you can't put doubles in the or single in the double and so let's just say um, tester and here we say we have a variable coming in called s input we could have passed it anything and right here alert s input so let's go ahead and save this and run it one more time and see when that body load gets called so we run the web page the body load gets called tester we click OK and then we're back to our other event handlers so what does this tell you you could do in the body load you could do anything you wanted you could open up a database file you could open up a text file you could find out who's logged in you could change information on it the body load simply says it's called when the page is being loaded into memory so take a look at all these different event handlers play with them if you notice you can have multiple event handlers on one object or we could write event handlers for anything we really wanted if I had another uh, input type equals let's do a button again value equals another click I could if I wanted to send that to the same function that's already written or I could have set it to a new function and then go and write that function up here in our script you have complete control doing whatever you want with event handlers events respond to actions and you can have an action on any of these tags in your HTML